Hi, Roger Peterson here for CostaRicaLaw.com. In this video, I'm going to go over all the details that you need to know about the Costa Rica Luxury Home Tax. The Luxury Home Tax is administered by the Ministry of the Treasury Tax Department. It is a national tax, so do not confuse it with a property tax. Does the Luxury Home Tax apply to your particular property? Let's take a look at the factors and find out. For 2014, the threshold for the luxury home tax is 121 million colonies, about US $245,000. If your property is valued less than that, it will not be subject to the luxury home tax. The luxury home tax is based on a sliding scale that goes from 0.25% to 0.55%. Let's look at those in more detail. Here are the tax rates converted to dollars for you at the current exchange rate. As you can see, the first tier are for properties that go from $245,000 to $610,000, and those are taxed at 0.25%, and then the rate increases up to 0.55. So how do I find the value of my property for purposes of the luxury home tax? Let's take a look. The calculation involves two parts. In the first one, you establish the value of the building structures on the property. That includes the house, pools, gazebo, whatever it may be. In the second part, you determine the value of the land. Let's look at these components individually. One, establishing the value of the structures that are located on the property. Construction values are determined by the Construction Valuation Manual approved by the Ministry of the Treasury of Costa Rica. If you are computer savvy and have a basic understanding of Spanish, you may download some software from the Ministry of Treasury website that will help you calculate the values and then calculate the tax as well. Here's a link to the Ministry of Tax website and their Facebook page as well. If you're confused, don't despair. There are many companies out there that are offering appraisal services specifically geared towards the luxury home tax. They will complete the valuations and fill out the forms and help you get them filed. If you want to continue with the calculation, the first step is to download the software from the Ministry of the Treasury website. As you can see here, click on the section for the 2014 software package. Once the software is installed and you open it, this is the first screen that you're going to see. The first step is to determine the classification for your particular residential structure. The manual classifies all residential structures in categories that go from VC01 to VC10. You look at the finishings indicated on the right hand side and then determine the classification for your home. For example, a house classified as VC06 would feature ceramic tiles, tile roofing, block construction, and higher end finishings. If we put that into practice, we select VC06, then we select the age of the house, in this case I used 15, focused on the area that's highlighted in yellow, the size of the house I put 275 meters, the condition of the house I put good, so that ended up with a result of a value of 349,350 colonies per meter for that structure. Based on that result, we have a per meter cost of $709 per meter of construction value. Multiply that by the 275 meters of the house, and we have a total cost of 194,975 for the building structure. Since the residential structures are valued at less than $245,000, which is the threshold, this property would be exempt and no further action required. On the other hand, assume a larger home of 400 meters of construction. The value then goes to $283,600, which is above the threshold of $245,000. When that happens, we have to bring the value of the land into the equation as well. To determine the land values, you must use the valuation maps established by the Ministry of the Treasury and are available on their website. These land values have also been incorporated into the valuation software that we looked at previously. The next step is to locate your property on the property valuation map. For purposes of this example, I'm going to assume the property is located in the brown area with the code 109-03-U24. With your property code and color in hand, you then go to the valuation table located at the bottom of each of the maps. Based on our example, the color code provided gives us the following information, which we will look at in more detail. The information provided is based upon a government appraisal conducted in the specific area referenced in the map. For our example, it's estimating the land value at $315 a square meter, so let's plug that into the formula. 
On the left hand side you plug in the appraisal reference information and on the right hand side you plug in your actual property description information. The program calculated our land value at a little over 106 million colonies, which is about $217,000. The land value is now carried over and added to the construction valuation previously done, and then the program will calculate the final tax to be paid. Here's the final summary of our calculation, which determined that construction plus land gave us a valuation of $500,000. Based on that, the property would pay $1,250 per year in tax. This has been Roger Peterson for CostaRicaLaw.com.